action. Today in class, we're going to learn how to do multiplication and division story problems. So the first thing we need to do is we need to read our question. So our problem, I mean. Our problem says, Ron buys three bags of apples. Each bag holds seven apples. How many apples did Ron buy? So the first thing we need to do is we need to underline the important information. So the first thing we need to underline is that he bought three bags of apples. So and that each bag holds seven apples. So we know it's there's a seven, so we put seven down at the bottom and a three. Okay? And the question we need to underline the question, which is how many apples did Ron buy? So we need to figure out, is it a multiplication problem or a division problem? So looking at it, it says, the question says, how many apples did Ron buy? So we know he had three bags, and each bag has seven apples. So the simplest way to figure out is that since we need to know how many apples he bought, and we don't know how many apples, so we need to times it. Because that would make it a multiplication problem. And 7 times 3 equals 21. Now we need to check our answer and make sure we're right. So first thing to do, the best thing to do, is we just need to draw, let's draw 7, let's draw 3 bags. So 1, 2, 3. And then we need to make sure we put 7 apples in each bag. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So the twenty-one, these three equals twenty-one. If that number matches up with the answer you got, then you got the correct answer. Okay. Now let's do another one. So let's say instead of let's put Ron bought or Ron bought. Yeah, switch the words on there. Ron bought three bags. Seven apples. How many apples were in each? So let's read this. It says Ron bought three bags of apples. He got a total of 27 apples. So how many apples were in each bag? So we need to underline the important information in this question too. So we know that three bags, that he bought three bags is important. And that he got a total of 27 apples. And then the, so we could put three down here and 27. Okay. You always want to put the bigger number in front. Okay? So then it's either so then you can if you divide you still have room. And if you multiply you still can do it. Okay. Now we need to underline our question. It says how many bags were or how many apples were in each bag? So with that we have to figure out is it multiplication or division? So when it asks how many apples were in each bag, that means we need to go back to the bags. We know that there's 27 apples overall at each bag, and he had three bags. So we have to, that means, because we're trying to figure out how many apples were in each bag, we have to divide the number of apples total by how many bags in all. So 27 divided by 3. 
who, can, who knows what 27 divided by 3 is? Yes, Bethany? 9. 9. Now we need to make sure that we check our answer. Okay? So we need to make our three bags. And we need to put nine apples in each bag. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we need to count how many there are. Get the plus. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So if that number matches with the total number of apples, then we know that we got the right answer. That concludes our list.